God bless everybody in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. This is Prophet O Pesicosa, and I'm so excited to be here with you once again for another School of Prophecy session. I know that this one is going to be a blessing to you because I want to talk about dreams. Now, we cannot deny that dreams are a vital point of our lives, especially as a child of God, it's important for you to pay attention to your dreams. So I'm going to teach you on a series of, you know, classes about dreams where we're going to try and reach a place where we can get you to be able to interpret your own dreams. Uh, for those who are already part of my Sears mentorship, they already know how to, to do this because it's been something that we've been dealing with over the past couple of weeks. So, but I want to share this with everybody because I believe that we all need this. I believe that everyone can dream. Someone out there might say, I have never dreamt before. Uh, I don't think that is possible. I believe you have dreamt before. It's just that you might not remember the dream that you had. But we're gonna try and help everybody and be a blessing to everybody. So my scripture reference for today is the book of Job chapter number 33. And I'm gonna read from verse 14. The Bible says, For God speaketh once, yes, twice, though men regard it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, so when we go to sleep god speaks and he speaks through a dream so there are people whom we might love to call dreamers um, that have been disregarded in the prophetic ministry because it looks like they are not that sharp or able to stand in front of people and give accurate prophetic words and declarations at that moment because for them their prophetic gift or prophetic words that they receive it comes when they are sleeping so most of the time for those who are dreamers they've been caught out as insignificant in the prophetic ministry but i want to disregard that because that is not true when you are a dreamer you are just as important as the prophet who stands on the on the pulpit because the dream world is so powerful it's filled with a lot of mysteries it's a place where god speaks just because God speaks to me in a vision and to you in a dream, it does not make me better than you. Just because God speaks to me audibly and to you in a dream, it doesn't mean I'm better than you. Because God speaks in dreams, in visions. For some, God speaks through signs and wonders. For some, God will speak to them through interpretation of events. For some, God will speak to them through the Word of God. For some, God will speak to them you know, in their imagination or in the thought realm. All these things I'm talking about are on, on my YouTube channel. So definitely God speaks in many ways. But these are the things that I probably want you to look out for as we deal on dreams. I'm going to give you a couple of points to look out for as you dream. But first things first, number one, if you know that you are a constant dreamer, you dream 10 dreams a day, whatever. I want you to, number one, first things first, have a dream journal, all right? Have a dream journal, have your own journal or diary, whichever word you use, where you can write down all your dreams. If you know that you dream stuff, it eventually comes to pass, write down your dreams, always. Write down to as far as you can remember. For someone who says, I I'm not really quite sure if I can remember my dreams or whatever the case may be. Well, this is what you should start doing now as you wake up. The moment you wake up, don't just jump out of bed. Waking up and jumping out of bed to go and start your day is, 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 is a silent killer for dreamers because you don't have time to meditate as you wake up. When you wake up as a dreamer, you don't immediately get out of bed, you stay in bed. You meditate. You allow the Holy Spirit to remind you of what you have seen in the night. All right. Then most importantly, always as a dreamer, be mindful of your previous day's events one hour prior to you going to sleep and 
what happens immediately when you wake up, the feeling that you wake up with. So as a dreamer, I always look out for what was the last thing that I was doing one hour before I went to sleep? What is the last thing that I remember before I went to sleep? Something that I could have meditated upon, something I was thinking about, what's the last thing? Then I look at the feeling I wake up with in the morning or the first thought that I wake up with in the morning because that is important. Also, why is it important? The, the previous thoughts of the night, it's important because it has a significance in building up to a dream. It can be building up to a dream as in the dream becoming a dream of my soul or it can be a build up to a dream where the dream can be a build up to God's answer to my meditation or to my prayer because prayer does not start when I open my mouth but prayer begins when I think about it. That's why God spoke to Daniel in Daniel 10 uh, through his angel. He said, Daniel, from the first day you thought of prayer, your prayer was heard. So prayer starts in the mind. So every time I'm thinking about something, meditating on something before I go to sleep, it can be a build up to a dream of my soul that will confirm what I was already thinking about or a prophetic dream, which can be God's direction or God's answer to whatever that I meditated upon. So I look out for those two things immediately when I wake up. What was the last thought that I had? What is the first feeling that I have? Now, feeling why? Feeling what I'm looking for, I'm looking for how this dream that I just woke up from makes me feel. Did I wake up terrified? Did I wake up with scratches on my body? I know some people um, have such types of events where when they have a dream and they're fighting in a dream, they can literally wake up with marks all over their body, right? Uh, did I wake up with joy? Did I wake up concerned? Or did I just wake up and said to myself, it's just a dream. So I look out for those feelings and I write it down. I write it down because it's important to write everything down. All right, so I look out for those feelings because it's gonna help me also when I get to a place where now I want to interpret the dream. So always look out for the feeling. Then another thing I want you to look out for, and this is all still under point number one as we're talking about having a dream journal. Another thing I want you to look out for immediately when um, you wake up after you have descended the thoughts of last night, after you have checked out your feeling for the day, immediately when you wake up from that dream. Now I want you to look out for this point. I want you to look out for how constant do you keep thinking about the dream throughout the day? Because when it comes to dream interpretation, honestly, um, for some people who are dreamers, um, we can't interpret all the dreams, all right? Because we can't say all the dreams now have come from God or whatever the case may be. Some dreams are too confusing. Some dreams are not complete because whilst you were dreaming, you were woken up by your alarm. So we can't interpret all dreams. Um, as I was teaching the people in our Sia's mentorship group, we said that you should look out for the dream that keeps bothering you. The dream that keeps bothering you, you can't stop thinking about it even after a week, even after a month, even after a year. Some people, it, it can be years and they'll still remember that one particular dream. If you still remember that particular dream as if you just had it yesterday, it means that dream needs interpretation. All right. And the, the more you think about it, it means that um, the answer to that dream or the interpretation to that dream has a significance in your life. Or the more probably you think about it today and then forget about it, think about it after six months, you forget about it, think about it again after six months. It means that the time frame of that dream coming to pass is getting closer and closer. That's why you keep getting bothered about that dream. That's why sometimes you might have a dream as well that triggers a past dream. So you can have a dream that is similar to a dream you had in the past. So that dream is a trigger dream to help you remember the dream you had in the past, which also is a reminder to you that that dream needs to be interpreted there and there. Glory be to Jesus Christ. So these are the first few things that I look out for immediately when I wake up. These are the most important things. And then over time, you look at the heaviness of that dream in your life 
and that will be one of the signs that this is an important dream to interpret if it bothers you if it makes you wonder why did i dream such type of a thing why was this person part of the dream that dream needs to be interpreted immediately glory be to jesus so let me know if this is helping you so far i i, I know that this is very important information for many people um glory be to jesus christ if you if you're watching here for the first time please do subscribe to these videos so we can bless more people hallelujah to get the anointing oh yes oh yeah, yeah, yes oh, yeah. it may be hard to get a job but ah oh, but it cannot be hard to get the anointing oh it may be hard to get a boyfriend but it cannot be hard to get the holy ghost it can be hard to get other things but when it comes to anointing of the holy ghost it can never be hard